everyone. I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a wide double crochet, which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a variation of the double crochet stitch. It's the same on the front as it is on the back. And this is a great uh, variation to work if you're looking to create a fabric that's a little bit more airy uh, and uh, a little bit more lighter weight. It's almost a mesh appearance, uh, but also can give off that solid texture feel as well. So we're going to learn how to work the wide double crochet stitch. I'm going to be using a five millimeter crochet hook as well as some uh, paint box cotton yarn. And uh, the links to both of these items can be found in the description of my video. Also in the description of the video, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are lots of uh, other great stitch tutorials and free crochet patterns available here. So for our stitch today, it is worked in rows. You're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain. Now your foundation chain for the stitch can be any multiple of stitches plus three for your starting chain. Today I'm just going to chain a foundation chain of 20 chain stitches. Once you have your uh, chain worked, you're going to begin your first row. And your first row is simply a double crochet beginning in the fourth chain from your hook. And then into each stitch all the way across. As we are working here, your chain three at the beginning of each row will count as a double crochet stitch. the end of your row, chain three, and turn your work. Now for row two, normally when working a double crochet stitch, you would work in the top of the next stitch if your chain three is counting as your stitch as it is here. So normally you'd work in the top of that next stitch. For your wide double crochet, you're actually going to be working between your stitches. So in between this first stitch and the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. You're then going to skip the next stitch and once again, in between that next and the one beside it, work one double crochet stitch. You're going to continue that all the way across to your final stitch, simply working double crochet stitches in between each of the stitches all the way across. Once you come all the way across your row to your final stitch and your chain three, you're going to work your final double crochet stitch in between that final stitch and your starting chain three. You can then chain three and turn your work. Now for the rest of this pattern, you're simply going to repeat that last row. So double crochet beginning with that first stitch and the one next to it, double crochet right in between then double crochet in between each stitch all the way across to your final uh, stitch and chain three where you will work your final double crochet stitch in between that final stitch and your starting chain three. And that's it. all there is to working the wide double crochet stitch. So thank you so much for joining me. I invite you to let me know how you would use this stitch or if you have used it uh, in the comments below. I love to hear about all of your projects. So thank you again for joining me and uh, I look forward to seeing you again next week.
Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.